Like, so imagine, for example, we're, we're like you're my companion, and we're coming in here. Imagine I'm your companion. Oh, you're right. You're right. my companion, okay. right? My 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 good friend. And then you see the marauders, right? There's marauders or a marauder camp up ahead of you. Like you don't. That's how good the combat is. You don't dodge it. You. I know you've been talking about it quite a lot. Have you been to Ryan's flat before? Have you actually been yet? I've not been. Because you're talking about, you know, you're talking about a video game, and yet we're in this like beautiful area. Imagine having your football team just underneath a. A castle? That is nice. Well, I, like, I imagine that kind of thing. I didn't know any of this area though, like Dumbarton and the west, like the the, the far west. Um, I know it's, I know you can get further west than this, but... There's, mo there's further west than this? Look Helensburg, mate! Look at that, it's beautiful. Nature. I think Ryan's where I like it here. I think we're going to like it here. I, I like it, it's nice to kind of but get anyway, out of the town. But anyway, if this was the outer worlds, right, we'd be walking up, we'd be walking up here and we'd see marauders ahead and I'd be like, I'd be like, let's go, let's go, like, we'll... Like I won't avoid the combat in a lot of games you're kind of like oh I can't be bothered doing that I'll go run it but yeah, there's just something Assassin's about it I know I'm banging on about it so shut up Assassin's Creed I don't know why I'm it sounds like a kind of space Assassin's Creed then basically is that what you're saying I'm banging on and on about it I know yeah hi going on quite a bit we should uh, we need Ryan don't we let's see his flap see how he's getting on it's not about it's not about games it's about how's Ryan doing that's what it's is about. that what it is for you that's what it's all about Then there'll be another layer, then there'll be another layer added to there where they're kind of like, well, maybe the woman should want to go out the way, maybe it reminds her of her youth, she wants to, maybe she just wants to, there's nobody else up in that castle, it's empty. Um, if she goes up, blows herself up, but why not let her go out in a kind of heroic debt, you know, so it's, oh, yeah. it's layers, it's... Because that's what I was missing. Here he is, here he is. What are you talking about? Talking about what I've been telling Jerry Talk about. Talking about Elie Noir, and now the decision making. I'm not talking about Elie Noir. He's amazed by I'm the decision making. I'm not talking about Elie Noir. Um, like it? You like it, Eleanor? I'm talking about um, the outer worlds. That's all I've been talking about for the past. I've been doing Jerry's nothing. What is that, a computer game? <laughs> yeah. Is it, it's is it better than this world? This outer world? It's, an, it's not better, it's just another one. That's the point I of the game. I think you'd like it. I've already got enough. I'm today. going to review it. I, think I, was going, I mean, I was going to review Rage and Loop, but I think I'm going to review... This is nice, Ryan. Living here is nice. I know. Well done. It's a good move. Thanks very much. Good. This will be good for you to see all this. It's good, good for anybody, it's good for anybody to see the water. It's made a big difference to me, even like, um, that was a, 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 the biggest difference for me in moving to Helensburg, is seeing, being able to see the water. I thought I could go, I could, I could live anywhere where I don't see the water anymore. You isn't it water see-through though, isn't it? Aye, but you know what I mean. I just need the water near me, so I can, so I can jump. <laughs> <laughs> they just say, they say they, they just jump. And... Ah, it's good, it's good, it's really good. It's just cold, isn't it? It's cold. Well, you look like you're prepared for it. You're dressed for the weather anyway. Cold and I don't really know anybody around here, mate. There isn't Just talking to that games. guy with the binoculars. There isn't enough games about... I don't about really know anybody. There isn't enough games about siege in a castle. Uh, we need games... We need games about... That would be a bastard to siege. We need... Well, there's stairs and stuff through the... The visitor centre. Ah, right enough. They shouldn't have built those ye olde visitor centres, should have, they? Have you ever seen the Paul Giamatti film? Paul Giamatti and James Purefoy film? Purefoy? Aye. Ironclad. I don't believe I have. It's a bit storm Dumbarton Castle. No, it's a bit storm in a castle. It's a bit siege in a castle. That's all it's about. It's a bit siege in right. a castle. It's fucking. I love that film, by the way. It's brilliant. And oh. it's all this stuff. It's all this stuff like um, the tar and all that, and all this stuff like yeah, setting pigs in fire and setting sending them down and the under the castle, running through like mad stuff. It's a lot brilliant. of them had a lot of them had like little tiny entrances. So if you went in. You had to go in like that, so you were exposed and they would just stab you. Aye. Unless you were like a limbo dancer, and you could just get in. Yeah. Like that, and stab him. Like that, That's back. what I'm saying, like, why is there no. There needs to be more indie games about siege and castles instead of just all these indie games about being fucking. We should make that. Or whatever it is. Castle Siege. We should make <laughs> Castle Siege too first. That sounds like yeah, been, that sounds like there's definitely been a game called Castle, Castle Siege. It definitely does. Um, Do you want to play the Mega Drive then? Yeah. What are you reviewing? Is it really? Probably. There's always Aye. moisture on down here. Aye, it is. What are you reviewing? There's no clouds, but it's raining. Let's go. Right. What are you reviewing? You need to take us up the flat and play Mega okay. Drive. I'm reviewing it. Yeah, and we know what you're reviewing. Well, I wasn't going to be reviewing Outer Worlds. I was going to be reviewing Rage and Loot. I'm doing NHL. NHL. What are you reviewing? Oh, God. Dust Diver. Don't. Oh, God. Ah, it's good. Would you say Muff Diver? Du Aye. Fuck, I wish it was Muff Diver. <laughs> Hi, guys. <coughs> Ryan McLeod's here from... Pennsylvania. Just reviewing Dust Diver. I'm playing it on Steam's coming out, or it has come out on Switch. 
So I thought hey, that'd be good, quite a good time, and, and I checked out a trailer. Looks like a persona type action game type thing. Looks pretty good. It's fucking taking ages to go up these stairs, I don't know. You can now you can hold on. Let me just check something again. Sorry, bear with me. You can knee out. That's fucking. That's it looks like a real game. That's like thirty pound it cost. You can knee out. Hmm. That's no the only spell mistake, unfortunately, in uh, Dust Diver. Please enjoy the gameplay footage. The red guys are actually easier than the blue guys. The blue guys actually take more damage, which is a lot of fun because it was, uh, it was not like it was repetitive enough already. At the end of every chapter, you get the summaries of what's happened in the story as if you gear fuck. They're actually pretty good because you will find yourself drifting in and out of consciousness, trying to concentrate while playing this game. The story is a total shambles. These silhouette things, I'm sure they must have some kind of artistic bullshit reason for doing it, but I think they just did it because it was fucking far easier to no animate everything properly. I don't know why I chose to play this. He's wearing a school uniform. I put, deliberately put that big bastard in a school uniform to humiliate him, but his avatar was just his normal gangster uniform because they can't be bothered animating it. That's a Dragonstone shard. You need to find them to go into the void to play the mindless fighting. So most of the time you will find yourself literally doing this, literally running around this death, deathscape, this colourful deathscape of uninteresting, meaningless interactions, looking for the stupid shards so that you can come in and just button mash. I think uh, time spent alone can be very valuable. I'm sure I've said this before, uh, if you spend it wisely. Fucking see how it, what, as if it knows it's button mashing. That lassie can he be on any older than like twelve? She's at school. She's like a twelve, thirteen year old lassie. Is this that's still fine? That's absolutely fine. Nobody's got any problem with that. Cool. Time spent alone wisely can be very valuable. I have a lot of regrets about the amount of time I spent alone with uh, Dust Idol. Because it's a uh, really weak pish, really weak pish, and being no plagued with self doubt as I often am, I don't need a hit like this because I'm reading the other people's reviews and listening to what other people are saying, and I feel like I'm losing my fucking mind. Do you know what happens when you die in these pishy dungeons? Right, just right back to the start. There's no save points, just right, just go back to the start. Even if you're in, in the middle of a boss fight, fuck off. No, right back to the start of the level. Because this is enough for people. This is a boss fight, I'm just running, running. Just running, 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 running. And then occasionally hitting them. And that's good enough. That's good enough for people, because there's lots of colours, and you can stick the wee lassie in a miniscope. Which is fine. Which is absolutely fine. It's culturally important to people to be pedophiles. Fine. So, it's no even that it's pish. I wish it was pish. But it's like Aldi rip-off pish. It's not even real pish. They don't even have them. They're just, they're just taking... Look at the fucking... Look at this costume. I can't even laugh about it. Because I'm numb. I'm numb for the mundaneness. Dust Diver does, doesn't it have any meaningful substance and I hate it. I think it's I think it's really terrible. I felt like I was dying, play like I could feel myself dying while I was playing it. It was so boring. But I mean if you're a paedophile, I mean the Gary Glitter song was in the, the Joker. You know I mean maybe it's back in, so if you're a paedophile but I mean I've got to believe that even paedophiles have got better taste than this. The gameplay is, you could probably play it on a tablet, With inverted commas, play it on a tablet. I don't, I don't recommend it, perfectly honest, it's shite. Well, uh
Randy, Randy Breen. Randy Breen. Good man. Paulus. Smash him. Copper. Arena. Play. Yes. Oh, yeah, big beast. No, 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 no. Oh. Punch fighter. Oh, yeah, big beast. How is he in this anyway? Because he's not even human. It's good to have monsters in fighting games. It's more like real life. Is that you done, Ryan? Is that you done? Is that you finished? Oh yeah, boy! Vigilantes was crying back to life stronger than ever. Thirsty clone ads at him like Axel and Blaze into a trap. Axel and Blaze set out to help their faithful companion, joined by Axel's friend Max, a wrestler, and Adam's kid brother Skate. They're determined to save Adam and put Mr. X out of action. The music is fucking brilliant. Do you have any of these? Eh? You just to get any of the mini things of these? Mm, no, what a snares, but I sold it for a profit. Did you? Like a smart guy. Like five pound profit. Did, did you play it before you? No. I want to get the Amiga one, but it's far too expensive. You can get an actual Amiga for like 25 quid with a basket of discs. It's just a basket, that's how, you, that's how you keep discs in a basket. There's no well nowadays you can put an Amiga though. Do you know what I mean? I've like, I, I looked at old Amiga not that long ago and the like, where, where are you supposed to fucking put that? You know what I mean? Really? Is that screen meant to be vibrating <laughs> That's the treasure style, isn't it? The house style of treasure. I've written shaking about and fucking slowing down and that. So you know you're playing something intense. I'd legitimately get one of these though. This has been great. It's good, isn't it? It's really good. I think like, every household should have them now, like the, the, the Super Nintendo one, the, the NES one, this one. No, the fucking PlayStation one, obviously. They look great, though, as well. I think they look great. You can actually have them stuck on your wall, all these wee mini tributes uh, to these old systems that doesn't take up the space. They do look nice. Is that an asparagus? A what? An asparagus. Mm. It does look like a big asparagus, doesn't it? There was a big problem with the asparagus in the 90s. It's, it's just weird. Oh, fuck. It's just weird having them uh, in their tiny, wee tiny versions of them. To, oh, shit. You know, it's, it's weird seeing your past like that, like wee tiny. You sure you weren't just smaller when you had it last? No. You were know, like a child, so it's like you perceived it. It wasn't even that bigger. small when you think about it, no. Mm. Um, it's just it's just the past. The past does shrink, doesn't it? You know what I mean? This is totally in three D. Look at this guy. This is an amazing guy. It's it's proper freaky to have a three D character taking on a two D character. 
I don't know if he knows you well, though. He just seems to be doing the same thing. Well, it's because he's working in work a different dimension, that's why. Yes! What did you enjoy playing mess today? On this? Okay, I mean, you can't really... You can't really include Street, uh, street Fighter 2. No, should be banned. Because it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's never been consistently one of the best. I was enjoying watching you playing Street Fighter Rage 2. Street Fighter 2 was good. Street Fighter 2 was good. Road Rush was interesting because you play it and you think oh. this is a load shiter than I remember it and then if you'd have tried to take the con the, the controller out of my hand I would have I would have gripped you'd have punched me uh huh I'd, I'd laugh I'd have written that beside you it's a baton holy shit what the hell was that aye the whole mini thing you ever feel that way about the past like that's the thing that scares me about getting older is that it feels as if everything, everything does kind of shrink down like all your memories and stuff like all oh, start to shrink down in the way you felt. I was thinking the other day about, eh, and I was thinking about it the day when I came in here and I saw Ryan's Twin Peaks picture there and I was thinking about how when I was younger like how much Twin Peaks meant to me like to the extent I would buy books and all mm. that kind of stuff um, and now when I think about Twin Peaks like how I felt about that for example, I'm only choosing Twin Peaks as an example because that picture's there. But how I felt about that, even that has shrunk. Do you know what I mean? Like, how much it mattered to me. Uh-huh. I was thinking about it all, like, maybe about two weeks ago, or um, about two mo- a month ago, I was watching Evil Dead 2. We, we, we hope just to show it for the first time. She fucking loved it, right? She absolutely loved it. She never even heard it before, right? And we watched Evil Dead 2 and loved it. And I was thinking about that then. I was like, this film's absolutely amazing, right? But there was a time when... I was Evil Dead mad. Like, mm-hmm. I loved Evil Dead 2 and I loved Bruce Campbell. I totally, I was my religion. And then, it, and then, just that shrunk as well. Do you know what I mean? I think that, isn't that natural? Because if you felt that way about that all the time, there'd be no room in your heart for anything else that came along. But is that how it constantly relaxed, otherwise you just get obsessed with something and you stick with that one thing. It must shrink, you must compartmentalise it, and then eventually your body starts to shrink as well to match it. It's just weird, isn't it? I think what you also mean is that it does shrink like kind of calcifies as well. <laughs> that's what you mean. It just becomes like a, a wee orb that you can put. Yeah. <laughs> Pack that's it away. That's how I felt about that. That's where that goes. Well, it's Halloween, so we have to do a wee list of the best horror games. Well, the scariest games of all time. Yeah! So, um, how did it? How's the dating situation going? Oh, no. You might go for a bite deep. Aye. Okay, look, I've made no secret of the fact that I'm an ice hockey fan. In fact, look, I'm such an ice hockey fan that I don't even call it ice hockey. I call it hockey, right? Because that's because that's what it's called. The other one's called field hockey, and nobody even makes games about that. So, in fact, is that, is that hold on? Let me check that. Surely, surely there must be a, a field hockey game. Let me Google it. Hold on. One sec. Aye, hold on, right, here's one. The field hockey game. Ah, it's, it's for Android. Right, that's an app. That's Right, it's an app. It's not even a game, right, so I'm right. So this is proper hockey. And if you've got a problem with me saying that, then away and play on your app, mate. However, right, I've, I've got a dark confession to make here. Eh, uh, oh uh, look, I can't really play NHL, right? There, I said it, right? I'm a bit lost when it comes to... I mean, like, like, I obviously, I used to be able to play it. Like, I used to play it all the time, like NHL 94 on the SNES or or, or 2004 on the PS2. I was brilliant at those, but, like, you know, with a lot of like, a lot of people and a lot of these big EA Sports kind of games, you, you do get, get to a point where you think, do I really need to buy this one this year? Is it just an updated title with new names and all that kind of stuff? And do I really need to buy it? So you don't buy it, and then, you know, and then... You know, two years go by, and then three years go by, five, ten years go by, ten years, and then now you can't play it at all. It's like, it's like the opposite of riding a bike. You just, you, you completely do forget immediately. However, I'd heard good things about NHL 20. Warm, tender things, welcoming things. World, you know, th- things like accessibility and new game modes, things like that, lovely things. So, like a 15-year-old boy outside an office, I took a deep breath and I gave it a go. Graphically, this is it's excellent. You know, from the, the player movement 
to the detail and independent crowd movements as well. But I, in fact, to be honest with you, I always found that NHL games were always a bit kind of head and shoulders above the other kind of sports titles. The sound design as well was was always phenomenal. It must be something about the actual sport itself. The sheer frequency of the moves must just lend itself to better commentary. However, a key factor here is it didn't mind teaching me to play again. Even from like the opening screen options, there was there was an understanding that you might be being welcomed back into the fold. What setting do you want to play it with? Do you need the tutorial? Here's the difficulty modes. Suggestions of what those mean. Basically, have you been away for a while? Welcome back, son. Don't worry, we'll take you through it. Detailed and entertaining tutorials that mix live action with in-game graphics. Simple breakdowns of the controls and then with an immediate application of them. I started to learn again. I started to enjoy it. I thought I could do this. It's even got a two-button configuration that just... You know, I mean, you could you could play that with, with no arms. You could play that with just your nose if you want. Game modes as well have been a big innovation in current generations of EA Sports titles. And let's be honest, we are basically just playing the same thing over and over again. And while I love the action and the addition of some of these uh, European teams being added in the Champions Hockey League in recent years, and some of the UK teams making an appearance in it, the clan aren't in it, and that's a bit of a drawback. But like a plastic surgeon, you've got to be honest, you are just reskinning the same old crap. However, with the Winter Classic and the 3v3 and the city touring modes where you travel around North America, you know, and take on NHL legends on their own patch, like warriors on ice. Warriors on ice! You know, it genuinely feels like a new arcade way to play. Look, I love this. I'm, I'm back in love with this. And if you don't love it, those are basic well, I know an app you can download. Let's get it going. Had you even been thinking about Outer Worlds? Like it was, like you had knew it was coming. Yeah. I kind of knew nothing about it. Yeah. So what? Give me like a twenty second pitch here. What am I going to like about this game? We going to like what's the Outer Worlds? Is there character classes? Character classes? Is there? No, there's no really ca there's no really character classes. But you can choose basically you just choose what you specialize in: dialogue, hacking. Okay. Like charisma, all of that kind of stuff, just RPG style. Yeah, what, yeah. uh, what would you choose naturally out of those attributes? What would you get drawn to? What would to? I choose? What I, no, what I did choose, mate, was when I was born, I chose uh, dialogue. Did I you? Chose, uh, part of charisma I chose style. charisma. <laughs> um, in fact, when the doctor Can you have when charisma I gave, with part? When, <laughs> no. my, when my mama gave birth, Can the doctor was actually it. like this. This baby's got too many points in charisma. You know, you're going to have to get some points in engineering or something, or he's not, never going to earn any money. He's going to end up making an online computer game show. For me, the back. doctor was looking, he was going, Oh, it's definitely got charisma. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still waiting for the chance to like get a glitter, glitter on his face. And got, like, like in Pulp Fiction when they open up the briefcase. <laughs> 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 Anyway, you'll need to wait for my. You'll see my review. Right, we'll you'll find see it. my review, but you would like it. But I think you would like it because it's it's very relaxing, man. It's like just because it's so old-fashioned. And have what's combat's like FPS style? You said almost. It's, it's kind of like a bit. A, it's kind of first-person shooting is style. There a, is there a lot of combat? Um, I mean, I wouldn't say there's a massive amount. I wouldn't say there's a massive amount of combat. <laughs> do you know what's funny? Because instead, I'm going to probably do Call of Duty, mod, the new Modern Warfare. <laughs> it's like the opposite. It's just all combat, isn't I thought, it? Were, I thought you were doing NHL. I'm doing NHL. I'm thinking about next month. I'm always thinking right. one step ahead of the game here. Okay. One step ahead of the actual game that I'm currently playing. Oh, I like the big games. I like the big ones. So how? So the, the new flat is... It's nice, isn't it? It is nice, and it doesn't matter how many times I remind myself that it's nice, it doesn't matter. I'm just, you know, worries. Did worries. You, what are you worried about? The boiler doesn't work. The, com the communal lighting, uh, I think, is something's up. Could be going through my system. I'm obviously I'm very low. Sandwiches. <laughs> Cheers, thank you. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. You know, Dave. Oh, yeah. What do you say? The communal light has gone through your. I don't know, I don't know. You think, the, nobody knows how the communal lights are working, nobody knows who's paying for it. It doesn't matter, it'll be fine. You think the electricity is good? It's for a nice flat, you're right, I agree with you, it's a nice flat. It's good. Is that what you say every time you walk in, you go, this is a nice flat, and then you worry about every, every morning of it? Every morning I wake up, oh, this is good. 
Anyway, I brought my. What did you get? Oh, sweet. I've got sweet potato and chili. Um, I brought the wee mini Mega Drive anyway, you know, for us to play. It's a good uh, flat warming. You need to have a flat warming party. Well, let's get a Mega Drive out. I was planning it, but it's kind of. I don't know how far out of the way it is for everybody. I'll take over. 20 minutes on no the train fun direct. Could be any easier if the train actually went straight through your living room, which you're probably worried about will happen. <laughs> you, need a, you need a game that's going to be a game that you get mm. right in the and you'll look back in future you go, that was when I moved into the new place and I remember playing that right. up all night, playing that game, you, oh, you need that game. Thank you. Well that is not the game that I'm playing to review for this episode, it's nah. not that game. I also makes you feel comfortable in your house, not like it's a good as well. Lentil soup is a mad point. Lentil? This is mm, really good. This is what, sweet potato and chilli? Chilli. It's amazing, it's amazing. It's delicious, this soup. Like so delicious. Mm. All flavour. So, eh, uh, aye, so the Outer Worlds could be that game for you, I think, right? Okay, Which, what platform should I play this? PC. Outer Worlds. PC. Or oh, whatever. I'm mm. playing on a controller. What is in this? It's too good, isn't it? Hey, what? Toast is good as well. So this is, this is one of the best. This is one of the best meals I've ever. This <laughs> <laughs> is actually, actually really good. Isn't it? So how's it? Um, how's it dating one? Good. I could tell it's good from that reaction. <laughs> no, it's a disaster, mate. Absolute disaster. It's tricky. It's a tricky existence. Have you tried just keeping your chin up? I know to use it's just titillation, but it's a it's a pretty it's a roller coaster. It really is. I like watching people on a roller coaster. It feels like trying to like being on a bucking bronco. I've never been on a bucking bronco, but yeah, just ha right. having to get back on again. No, take it personal and get back on again. Like road rash, running mm. back to your bike. <laughs> <laughs> but eventually you will get a good. Aye, date. that guy. Run, that's me running back for a date. That guy. What did you say there? It was that joke. He said eventually you will get a good ride. It's pretty good, isn't it? That's a proper. So the last year that. Old dad that isn't in the dating game anymore. Uh, that, isn't it? The last year that you met that I brought to the ice hockey. Mm -hmm. Text me like two days after the date. That's quite a cool amount of time to wait. Two days. I'm sorry, that's not that crazy. No, well, she'd already said that she was not going to look for any other. You're the one? Aye, aye. Well, aye really? Quite, it went really well. And so how long had she been on the dating, dating website? A week. But she sent me a text like two days later. So I found you. A picture of her wearing 30 inch jeans, because we were talking about jean size, and I was talking about how much weight I was losing. It was, 30, it was just barely 30 inches, and she sent me a pair of her wearing a pair of 30 inch denims. Mm -hmm. and there was loads of room there, because she's tiny. Um, but she said that her son had given all the denims, and they didn't fit her. She didn't say, Do you want them? But they're my size. So she's offering you a pair of denims? I think jeans. she bought a pair of denims for me. To give to me, but that's romantic, isn't it? Oh, that's, like, that's like what cowboys would do when they're in love. Oh, and you know, a lot of people say that the whole rationale behind the dating game on a human level is about the transferring, you know, transferring genes to each other. That's a good point. Unexpected. There might be a secret message in there. So that's a new, exciting way of feeling terrible that I never knew existed. So it's going to. Why are you not know, interested in it? Don't fancy. So. That's probably the main. That's the main reason, isn't it? She was, I liked her company. I would have liked to have spent more time with her, but... Well, let's think about it in a computer game sense, right? Sometimes you get that game, don't you, where it's like... It's like a 7 out of 10. Sometimes the 7 out of 10s are better than a 10 out of 10, don't they? I mean, they are. You can't think Over time. Mm -hmm. That 7 out of 10's got feelings, but... No, no, but I would rather... I would rather be somebody 7 out of 10 who I eventually grew on, and they liked me for who I was. There'd be somebody's 10 out of 10 that they were like instantly. Mm. But this isn't 7 out of 10, this sounds like it's no. 4. Yeah. 3. But. Yeah. 2. You must have fancied all what you originally going to do, but. Not really, no. She just I agreed. just forced myself to go to meet somebody. You took her to the ice hockey. You can't win because it's exciting. Like... Oh, good. Did she watch it? Kinda. 
kind of. She was, see, this is the thing, isn't she would spend the whole day talking about how nervous she was. The whole day? And I didn't give a shit. And then, fast forward a few days later, I'm asking somebody who I did give a shit about, and I can't, I can't function. Can you try and roleplay and reverse <sighs> the situations? Imagine how you felt before, when you were cool, Ryan. Let's work on cool, Ryan. Have another cat. That's what would happen in a sitcom, isn't it? Like his mates would all chat, and you're like, well, "Be cool, Ryan. Be yourself, but be right. the coolest version of yourself." And we get why? Like, a be yourself, jacket. but why? Yeah, be yourself. But don't why be yourself. A version of you that might have existed in a parallel universe who was actually cool. That's what today. This isn't helping. Not anyway, none of these lassies are into games. None of them. So they're obviously no. For me. Is there anybody on Tinder that does see that any right, what, what, what would that would that be a deal maker or a deal breaker for you if a lassie was like I love my PlayStation 4. I What's this voice? I felt cold. This seductive. You know, it was quite I sexy, love wasn't it? My PlayStation like 4. I love to play video games. It sounds Polish. So would that be a plus or a minus? I spoke to somebody who was into games. Oh, yeah. I think I even mentioned it on an episode of Transylvania. Um, it helps. So. It helps. You think it helps? <laughs> I think it's better to be with somebody who has got many of the same hobbies, really, many, you know what I mean? It's nice having some overlap, isn't it? You don't have to have all the same hobbies. In fact, it's ideal if you don't, because you need to go and do something else, don't you? Aye. I don't think so there are any rules. <laughs> I don't really think there are any rules to it, but the problem is that most people out there seem to have rules in their heads that you need to clear, like hurdles. All these hurdles you need to clear in people's seats. Aye. Right, what, what kind of person are you looking for? I don't know. That may be a problem. Are you looking for someone Sub or over. Well, take 30. the example of the one who I asked out and it was a disaster, but she's an artist, uh -huh. she's confident, yeah. she's clearly driven. She seems really good, though, she? Yeah, she is, she's fucking amazing. She's like sucking. Just that, then, just somebody amazing. That'll do me. That's all you need. Once you've got that pin down, that's fine. But you're enjoying it anyway, that's the main thing. Are you keeping hydrated? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Let's speak my nose, right? Do you ever sometimes feel like you just want to have a bath? It's not because you're dirty. You're no dirty. It's not because you're tired. It's not because your muscles ache. It's just because you're like... I deserve a bath. I deserve a bath. I want to light some candles and slide into a nice bath. That, my friends, is the Outer Worlds. The game that you're looking at just now. This is my this is my pal here. Look at her. She's a wee smasher, isn't she? I think she's, she's cacking. I love cutting about with her. My uh, wee daughter, Waverly, who's two years old, sometimes likes to, when you're out walking with her, and you're walking about the street, she sometimes likes to go, I love hanging out with you guys, she says. I don't know where she get that for, right? But, you know, we'll be out and she'll be walking with us and then just out the blue, she'll turn around and go, oh, I love hanging out with you guys, she says, right? And I love hanging out with, with these guys. My pal, this is me, by the way, that's me there. Purple hair and my, my gun. And I love my gun. See, in this game, I love my gun. I've specced up this gun. I've been using this handgun for... Look at me. Look at the way I'm staring at it. Wow. Look at my gun I made. I love my gun. Parvati, do you like my gun? I love my gun. I love my gun. I love my purple hair. I love my guy. I don't want to give you any spoilers here by letting you see which companions really are cutting about with me. She comes in at the start of the game, so it's no real spoiler. Right, let's have a look at this game. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's beautiful. It's the Outer Worlds. It is... If you've played Fallout 3, or you've played Fallout New Vegas, or indeed you've played, you know, Oblivion, or you've played... Uh, Morrowind, then you'll understand what kind of game this is. You're going to run about places, you are going to uh, complete quests, you're going to go to waypoints, and hold on, I'm going to have to deal with this. I really love the combat in this game. Watch, I'll show you how cool it is. Oh, slow-mo. 
Kapow. Oh fuck. Oh Jesus Christ. Right, hold on, hold on. Right, there's hundreds of these things here. Right off. How are they doing down there? I'm alright. The fuck was that noise? Oh. oh, look at that. Big critical hit, man. Oof! Right, that's alright, I'll just get a blast of a bit of health in the middle. So there was a the combat. One of the. Um, one of the positive things I can say about the combat in this game is that you never avoid a fight. Well, I never avoid a fight. I enjoy the combat in this. So whenever I see a fight happening, I'm like, let's go. Let's do this. Yeah, that was pretty intense. I enjoyed that. Uh, the combat's always fun in this game. Doing the quest is fun. And we know this is the thing. This is a refinement of this type of game that I love. And a type of game that I think a lot of people out there really love. Uh, I've found some ruins here. I wonder if I can get in this building. Exploration is wonderful in, uh, in video games. Exploration is just fantastic. And I think I can get in here. Let's have a look. What we see? Maybe spoilers. Let's see. So we wrecked, uh, we wrecked two stuff. Stuff in the fridge. Stuff here. A bypass. A shunt. Everybody likes a shunt. Some armour. A gun. It doesn't look like anything too interesting in here. But obviously this is where somebody lived at one point. We'll steal some ammo and we'll take we'll take some stogie slims off the toilet pan. It's that kind of game. You know the type of, you know the drill. Uh, this isn't like the big open world thing that the Fallout 3 did, though this is, uh, you have maybe a hub world and smaller worlds that you can visit that are very focused and, and again, very refined, very detailed. Um, they're deep more than they are wide, which is always a good thing, I think, in a game like this. The game is a warm bath and, you know, in a year where we've seen a lot of great games, we've seen a lot of very innovative games as well this year, sometimes it's nice to be reminded that uh, this, this kind of game that you that you like, that has been proven over the years, is something that people love to sink into. It's nice to see that with the Outer Worlds they've, they've just went, right, let's do this again, but let's get a wee extra level of polish, a wee extra level of focus, um, let's let our experience work for us here. Um, the story is really well done. Um, it's fun to just go about and talk to all the different factions and talk to all the different characters and see your relationships develop with uh, your companions. It's, uh, but again, nothing outstandingly fresh or new. Um, it, is, it is just one of the games where you... You can't help but love it. It has charm. It has care. Uh, care running through it. You can. There's a lot of love in it. I like that the futuristic space worlds it's shown you have this almost 1960s, 1970s kind of feel. I almost feel like a, you know like you're looking at a, a cover of a concept album. You know, like you're some old record, some old Yes album or something that you've you've found in a shop and it, and it looks like this. Uh, and I just love running about in this world. Uh, I, I really recommend this. It's a, I want you to join me in this bath. What I'm saying is join me in this bath. I'm going to go and battle this guy here. Watch this. Bang! Fucking right in the back of the head, man. Boom! Oh, and you. Oh, you fucker. Get down. Oh, he's got a fucking flamethrower. Didn't see that coming. Shit. Right the back of the head. Fuck you. Bang. Boom. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Fucking brilliant. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. I need to. I'm going to phone Ryan and tell him about it again. He needs to get it. It's half one in the morning. It doesn't matter. I'm sure he'll, I'm sure he'll appreciate the call. I Ryan, I was doing my review about the Outer Worlds there, and I was I was going, oh, I really recommend it, all that stuff, and then I fucking my head get blown off. I was doing it. I said, have you got it yet, Ryan? 
Ryan. Thirsty clone adds Adam, like Axel and Blaze, into a trap. Axel and Blaze set out to help their faithful companion, joined by Axel's friend Max, a wrestler, and Adam's kid brother, Skate. They're determined to save Adam and put Mr. X out of action. Four young friends, rage burning inside them, make a stand for friendship and peace.